Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we have Yellowtail Cabernet Merlot. This one is a 2017 from Australia. This is supposed to have notes of black currants, berries, and soft spice. So let's take this one for a spin. You're immediately hit with that black currant flavor. Soft spice, I can see that. It's it's you know, I associate black currants with like a peppery flavor. Spice various spices. I'm just trying to get a little bit more of that berry flavor. If nothing else, you get a bit of a berry flavor more toward the front of the mouth on the tip of the tongue. But I would say, given that this is a mix, this is 60% um, Cabernet and 40% Merlot. And on the back, I can show you, this is adorable. I, I love this. They do have a um, dry to sweet gradient, and then they got the little kangaroo toward the dry side, which is a super creative way, I think, for them to showcase that this is a probably a semi-dry wine, which it is. Um, yeah, overall, you really get that black currant and spice all over the tongue. Um, not a this, the berry is not very prominent. but that's also very distinctive of Merlot. So um, if you are someone who likes Merlot, you like a drier, um, more spice or smoky forward, not even smoky, just a spice forward, peppery forward wine. This is something that you would really enjoy. Um, it's not terribly, it's not terribly dry in that it doesn't maybe, you know, go, ugh, this is awful. But, um, you know, just because of the nature of pepper and spices, it is going to be on that drier side, which is why it's a semi-dry. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. It's, it's mostly going to be peppery and spicy, not a lot of berry flavor, but that is really distinctive of Merlot's. So, um, but for what it is, it's not hyper dry where it just makes your mouth feel very dry, so. Um, so that's pretty good. On a scale of zero to five, zero being I never want to drink this again, and five being I want to drink this every day, um, just due to my personal preference, uh, I would probably give this maybe a 1.5. Um, it's, it's okay for what it is. The only reason I'm even giving it the 1.5 is because it's not super dry in the mouth, um, but I'm just not a personal fan of the spice and and black currant flavors so that's all i have for you if you have any questions comments or recommendations feel free to drop those in the comments below and i look forward to having a sip again with you soon